Hello guys, the DB Grounder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Darkman Alt with 1,698 rating versus Vision with 1,502 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Also, before we hop in, make sure to go ahead and check out these tokens from Imperium Duelist, mainly these fluff tokens, they're like motion ones, and I bring this up because I want to see these in person, so someone buy them so I can see them in person, but... Okay, and I have like a 10% discount code down below, but okay, let's go ahead and hop right in. We got Vision, winning the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they're going to go first. 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we got Cosmic, Preventer, Ash, Extinguish, Ash. This hand is horrible. Then they have Nib, Book of Moon, Baru, Nib, Imperm. Why did they both draw so bad? This isn't playable, right? Uh, that's not playable. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, set book, set imperm, pass. They draw another preventer. Set two, pass. Oh, that's not good. They drew something good. Normal summon, effect, chain ash blossom. And then summon dark infant, dark infant effect. Uh, we do have cosmic for the field spell. Which is actually really good here. We have to. Yeah, otherwise they get the summon, they get the dump, they have splash maze. They'd have way too much. So, attack, pass, draw emergency. Uh, that, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's actually good. Um, specifically because they have extinguished set and they can pop this. They're going to summon hydrant, send preventer, and then on the summon, they're going to book. Special summon preventer by banishing. Oh, I guess, I guess it's fair to not chain that. Yeah, anyways, what is some preventer? Beat over, hold your pop. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I mean, that should have been obvious. Yeah, that's good. Beat over, pass. They draw reborn. And then they're going to activate reborn. Bring out from the graveyard. And then effect to go search. They said okay. So they're going to let them go search the I meet you. And then normal summon wind. Effect to go dump. And then wind's going to dump the fire. Okay, now go up in the Wind Pegasus. Uh, they're going to go uh, Wind Graveyard Effect 1, Extinguish 2. They could just chain Imperm 3 on Preventer, negating the Extinguish. They bring out from the Graveyard, and then they're going to link up in the Dark Infant. Dark Infant Effect to go search. And you may wonder why. what was the point of even going into this. Well, this was going to force the back row for sure, and we always had a way to negate the back row, and we could just keep comboing next to it anyways. But effect, go search out island, and then battle phase, beat over hydrant, activate the I meet you, and then they will admit defeat. So I'm confused why they went battle phase, attack, and then activate I meet you. Um, oh, it was probably to play around Nib. Okay, that's fair. And then go ahead and go to the next game. We're going to see Rescue Ace go first. Opening hands, we got Magma, Emergency, Extinguish, Hydrant, and Veiler. They have Book of Eclipse, Reborn, Imperm, Book of Eclipse, Ash. Wow, their hand just it does not work. They have a bunch of going second cards, though. Normal Hydrant, Effect to Go Search, Grab Out Turbulence, they let that go. And then Activate Emergency, Chain Ash Blossom on that. Link up into the Link Karibo, Banish, Bring Out Turbulence, Turbulence Effect. And then they said, on summon, I'm going to imperm. Okay, I don't think people really realize it, but whether you imperm on summon or on effect, it's pretty much the same thing. Like, realistically, you may as well hold it for the effect, because if they have a book card anyways, it doesn't matter when you activate this. So you may as well hold it, because otherwise, like, I don't know, what if there's a world where, like, they link off, and then special preventer, and then they bring out turbulence, and now they haven't used the effect yet, so let's go set four from deck now, right? Like, you're not actually playing around a book, unless if your opponent doesn't know how the books work. Um, then they draw a Doshin, so they're going to go Book of Eclipse to set the turbulence to shut down the potential trap card. Normal summon out Doshin. They do have the Reborn in hand, so this does do something. You know, two Cybers monsters. Uh, they're going to summon Dark Infant. They Veiler that. And then Reborn to summon back out from the grave. Okay. I mean, they did start with, like, a really weak Adagnister monster. So, like, maybe you shouldn't Veiler Dark Infant. Because, like, if they had a better one, they probably would have started with that one, right? 
but okay, go up in the Splash Mage, Splash Mage effect, summon back out from the graveyard, bring out the Doshin, and then go up into the Link Decoder, which this card, it's so, I, I actually don't like that this card came out. Like, it just gives them too many extra bodies. But they're going to go ahead try to bring out the Link Decoder there. They're going to chain Magma, banish that, special summon, effect search during end phase. Um, decide to put that in defense also, which could lead to it getting beat over by Transcode. Yeah, they're going to go Splash Mage, Attack, Declare Effect, Transcode beat over. That just goes now. Okay, uh, now they're going to go up in the Access Code, Access Code Effect, gain some Attack. And then they're going to go Effect to Banish, pop the back row, Effect, Banish, pop the Turbulence, set their own Book of Eclipse. End phase, grab Jurus Worm, which already will at least attempt to trade with the access code. And then draw on the Baylor. So pass, they draw Island, attack with access code, activate Jurus Worm. Uh, they're going to banish Baylor, special summon out. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, just definitely banish Baylor from our own grave. Attack over, effect. Well, I mean, we don't have to banish Baylor. We could have banished Magma. In case that there's ever a world where they try to bring that back and do something with it. But Druus Worms send the access code. We draw Fire Attacker. They draw Doyon. Activate Island. Effect summon out Doyon. Doyon effect to try to add back the uh, Doshin from the graveyard to the hand. This is such a good body here too. Because like it's going to try to grab back Doshin. And they can link up in the Dark Infant. And they can go Dark Infant 1. Doyon 2. Add back Reborn. Surprised that they did that one Chainlink 2. And not this one Chainlink 2. Because who really cares about Dark Infinite resolving here. But now they're going to go Island, Summon. Well, I guess it plays around. No, it doesn't play around anything. Because we already played in the, the Impulse. But now we're going to go up into G Crystal Heart. Which, I also hate this card. This card, because like, this. Because like, okay, okay. Like the Trans Code, Splash Mage the link decoder like they go through all this turn one right and then this is like their turn two push i hate like the cyber's extra just how good it is and just keep giving improvements to it set reborn pass draw emergency uh activate emergency okay so they're gonna summon preventer send preventer preventer effects summon out hydrant and then activate fire attacker um on the summon of that and then they're going to activate Book of Eclipse to set the field. Um, they said, before resolving Eclipse. Okay, they're going to go Reborn, Summon Doyon, Doyon Effect, Add Back Doshin. Now resolve to flip and draw two, at Airlifter and Magma. The reason why they have to do it like that, like have to, is because Fire Attacker actually isn't worded the way you thought. Boom, things to remember in a regular video. This says, if a card is added to your opponent's hand except by drawing it. Does it say from deck? I think not. So, yeah, some people don't know that. Uh, it's cool to see that the opponent actually knew that. Pass, they drew AI. I mean, most likely they knew that. They could have also just been trying to play around, like, Bell or something. But g Golem effect. Summon back out the Transcode Talker. And then Transcode effect. Bring out Dark Infant. Okay. Uh, activate the AI Michu now to go search out the Pikachu. Sure. Uh, fire attacker effect, draw hydrant impulse, send hydrant from the hand of the graveyard. Normal summon out the Pikachu effect. Chain link two impulse to go summon, bring out preventer. I'm just, this is tough. Like the opponent has a lot here. They're going to link off into a four material uh, arrival there. Okay, so 4,000 attack, effect, pop preventer. They're gonna chain preventer to book the Doyon. Okay, couldn't they have actually just linked off Doyon and kept the Dark Infant on field? Knowing that, like, the next play was book. But they're gonna go activate the AI Fighting Spirits, or FA Fighting Spirit, to try to summon back Magma, banish that, Magma effect to search during the end phase, then they're gonna go Doshin effect to summon out from the hand, okay, uh, what's the plan from here, we're gonna flip the Doyon, 
Oh, that is true. That was actually summoned last turn during our opponent's end phase, so it didn't matter if that guy hit with Book of Moon. My apologies. That is true. We just left that on field the whole time and played next to it. Okay. So, they're going to link three off into Dark Templar, and then they can get the Doyon effect, Tad back, the Reborn. Yep. Battle phase, Dark Templar, beat over, effect to summon back out any cybers from the graveyard, bring out transcode, transcode beat over. They said, what? Oh, I see. Yeah, because this can even bring back, like, the arrival. Yep. But then they're going to go ahead, arrival, beat over hydrant, so beat over their field, set reborn, end phase, take 23, pass, they draw rescue. Oh, yeah, they need to uh, magma, grab back from the grave, and then draw rescue. Okay, go main phase. Let's see. We are not going up against anything here, right? They don't have a negate set up through a Dan Mari. They don't have a wind in graveyard to like summon and then dump. They're going to go normal airlifter effect and then grab out emergency. And like this tower just doesn't do anything here. It's just a blank 4,000 monster. It's unaffected. Like we can out that with just access code. But emergency, summon hydrant, send airlifter, hydrant effect to go search. And then that's going to grab turbulence. Okay, special summon turbulence by banishing hydrant turbulence. And then turbulence effect to go set. And they're going to set alert and contain. Sure. Uh, what'd they go through? They've been through both preventer, which does suck. They could always rescue summon it from the grave. Could always rescue summon from their grave. We're gonna go activate alert. Alert. Add back preventer. Yup. And then we're gonna go special summon preventer by banishing fire attacker. Turbulence. Attack into the trans code. And then preventer. Beat over the dark templar. Emergency to set extinguish set rescue and then pass turn so this is what we decided to do um okay 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 so we have a few interruptions i guess they don't really have a whole lot we know that they have reborn we know that they have island we both we know both these cards and we know the set cards reborn um they're going to pass. They draw evenly. Definitely not a good draw there. Go main phase. Arrival effect. Pop turbulence. Summon out token. If you pop anything else, they could get turbulence effect too. But now they're going to go arrival. Beat over preventer. Preventer effect to get the summon back out turbulence. And then main phase two. Set evenly. End phase. Rescue to summon out transcode. Okay, draw prosperity. Uh, that's funny. We we could use the effect of summon back out Link Karibo. But Hydrant effect goes search. Hydrant, grab out Fire Engine. And then grabs out Fire Engine. Sure. Um, so maybe expecting to activate their prosperity this turn. Or maybe they don't play the field spell, the headquarters. Because could have gone for airlifter and tried to do something like that. But we're just going to link up in the Hita. Hita effects. So, you know, now we can't transcode effect. But Hita, bring out Ash Blossom to his own that Hita points to. And then link off into the Heat Leo. Heat Leo effect to target the known Reborn. And then they're going to chain the Reborn to bring out Doshin. Uh, activate Druus Worm to banish Doyon. Special summon out. Link off in the access code to where Transcode points to. Uh, they could have also used Druus Worm effect to send, but decided to not do that. Said, I don't know why I searched engine really biting me here. Yeah, the engine search was a little bit weird. Uh, they did also just like, you know, forget the Druus Worm, send a body, which sucks. Unless that they have a different game plan, which I doubt there's one that does piercing and stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Banish, pop, and then they're going to beat over the arrival, and then beat over the token. So, oh yeah, they can also use this. Wait, do they have? They don't have one. Okay, they're going to banish the island and that to add back the fighting spirit. 
right? Or this can only target things with 23. Or no, this only, no, that's that's right. This targets any attic mystery, but it can only protect anything with 23. But, so I guess we can target the Doshin. Yeah. But I guess we also won't have a body on board. Okay, okay. So we just bring back whatever then. Yeah. Yeah. No, we just, oh, okay. Bring this back doesn't do anything though. I don't know. I'm trying to think about what they can do, but they just grabbed the AI meet you anyway. They didn't even grab the reborn. Activate Pot of Prosperity to go banish six. And then look at the top six. We see, you know, they had super poly cards in their deck. Uh, they do hit Airlifter there. And they're going to grab that and then put the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck. Okay. And then we're going to go normal summon Airlifter, summon out Fire Engine, link off into an Appalooza with the access code, transcode, and then they draw Pikachu. So, I mean, this is a good amount of interruptions here. Yeah, they just submit the feet. Moving on to game three now. We're going to go ahead and see Adignister go first. Opening hands, we have Ash, Preventer, Emergency, Contain, Rescue. They have AI Meet You, Droll, AI Meet You, Sign It Mining, and then Fire. So, sadly, we don't see, like, a Droll in our hand. Um, but they're going to go Normal Summon, Effect, go Search, grab out Doshin, and then link off in the Dark Infant, Dark Infant effect, Chain Ash Blossom, which is tough for them. Uh, Doshin effect, summon itself out, and then go for Splash Mage, Splash Mage, summon back out the Doshin, and then link off up in the Heat Soul, Heat Soul effect, pay a thousand to draw. Do they draw Island? No, they drew the third. A high meet you. That is that is so unfortunate that they drew the third one. They draw Emergency. And then Heat Soul, pay a thousand to try to draw, chain emergency, you know, play around, draw Ash, bring out Hydrant, Sun Preventer, they draw another sign in mining. There's actually just no way that they're drawing this many consistency cards right now. And then Hydrant Effect to go search, go grab Airlifter, uh, drop Droll there, go up in the Anima, Anima Effect, take the Heat Soul, and then Normal Summon Airlifter, attack, attack, dropping him down to 2,000. Which is a pretty decent number, but then we can activate Rescue to Summon Preventer. Wait, but this won't... Oh, this will summon. That's right, that's right, that's right. And they can't stop that. That's right. Because they paid 2,000 off heat soul. Yeah, so bring out Preventer. And then attack. And... Yeah. They said, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That hand was, uh... Not real. Not real, to say the least. Very, very unfortunate. And then, you know, for the Ash Blossom, they'll also just get dropped in the Dark Infant. Like, the hand would have worked. It would have worked. It would have sucked how much engine they would have had, but it would have worked. Um, but then you get hit with Ash on that, and it's like, okay, we can, like, squeak out a Heat Soul and, like, you know, maybe, maybe Droll just protects us a lot. Maybe Heat Soul draws into a hand trap. But nope, neither of those happened. So, seeing at how long the match was, yeah, we see them leave without saying the GG's there. Uh, the match was about 28 minutes long, and really, 28 minutes long? I felt like Game 2 was much longer than that, but I don't know. I felt like I was just getting lost in the sauce Game 2. Like, it's not even like this deck's hard. I was just getting lost in the sauce for some reason. I was trying to think the play, like the, especially like the Rescue Ace plays so far ahead. And then... Just for them to go, like, build half the end board pass. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. It's fair. It's fair. It worked out fair, too. It was actually a good play. But, you know, I was thinking about... I was thinking, I was thinking the bigger picture. I was thinking about game. But, nope, we just weren't there. And, yep, with all that being said, well, not game. Because they had, like, the Attic Nester arrival. And the red card's, like, impossible to game over. It's very hard. Um, not that, like, a Boral Sword or something in your extra deck. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.